Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Ultimate Fishing Simulator, and we are back here at Powell Lake. It's been a while since we've been here. Thought I might check out some of the new species that can be found here now. Apparently, the flathead catfish is of prime interest for me, and I believe they added a white crappie as well and the pumpkin seed. Now, we've seen those... Well, we've seen the pumpkin seed at Betty Lake, but we haven't seen the other two yet. And I think we need to see what we can do about finding them. Looks like there's plenty of fish out that way. I'm not sure where the flatheads would be found exactly, but I would think they'd be close to the dock. Let me check over here, guys. Used to be... The channel cats would hang out around here too. Let's do this hunter vision thing. I see a lot of fish down there. I don't know if they're catfish though. Nothing huge anyway. Let me come all the way out here to the deep, deep, deep dark dark deep. <laughs> anyway, we'll come out here and see what might be swimming around in this area. It's nice having that advanced... Ooh, yeah, I think we found them, guys. Right over here. There's some big fish down there. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We are going to go ahead and set up our rod pod. Oh, and by the way, this is cut bait on a 5 odd hook. So, some, I thought something was biting it already. I wouldn't put it past it. Hold on, let me go ahead and pull this in. I want to throw it out a little bit further than that. That was kind of an accident. There we go. Don't want it out there too far. Now on this one, we're going to put live bait. Now this can spark the interest of the catfish, channel cats, largemouth bass, all the above. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a float rod out here as well. Wax worms, that should actually be good for the bass. If an, I'm not mistaken. At least now we can watch them. Yeah, I like to watch the fish. I know that's not very realistic, but it is uh, kind of entertaining to do that. We'll get to find out whether or not the hook size is appropriate. Oh, check it out, guys. Here we go. Apparently the catfish like this too. It's exactly what I was after, guys. I think that might be a channel cat though, not a flathead. We'll see here in a second. He's not too huge. Yeah. He's not doing too bad. <laughs> He's holding his own. There we go. Yeah, we didn't really have to wait too long to get him. I 
Now that's a channel. Whew, not a bad one. Damn. It's a record for me. 21.34 pounds. Not bad at all. I will sell him. That's going to go on my trophy room there. Let's see here. There's some other big fish right there too. Let's see what these guys are. Yeah, I see some fish down there. Yeah, I tend to mix my baits. If you can put more than one bait on there, I will try to put two of their favorite ones. I figure there's got to be something they want to go for. What if those hooks over there are too big? I know this one's not, so... I think I've got a five or six odd hook on those two. Ooh, check out from below there. Yeah, there you go, guys. It's another channel, I believe. It might be a flathead, I don't know. Yeah, it might be a flathead. Hold on. It's kind of hard to tell. His head looks a little on the flatter side. Yeah, he was definitely interested. Whoa. Okay, this guy's big. He is bigger than that other one, I think. No, well, maybe not. He just had some a good amount of fight in him. I don't know. His head just doesn't look flat enough for a flathead. Nope, it's a channel. I was right. But he is bigger. Just a little bit. Damn. Some big old channel cats out here. I tell you. Alright, let's take a look around here. So, got the channels. Bet you those are pumpkin seeds right there. So far, nothing has been on these bottom rods. Let's see, I've got a five odd hook. Maybe I need to size down a little bit. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring these in. I'm going to walk down the dock a little bit. And I might, honest to God, guys just might go ahead and buy or at least set up a smaller rod in my other spot because I want to see if I can get those pumpkin seeds there we go getting a lot of lag there for some reason I don't know what the problem was No, not seeing anything. You know, a flathead you kind of expect to be just a monster. Truth be known, they may not be over here. seeing anything that strikes me as one of those big old fellas. How do I get... Alright, let's get a... see if we can't get on this boat. Maybe we can find one out here.
I'm curious why I'm getting so much lag. This is kind of ridiculous, honestly. Hold on just a minute, guys. Figure I might head on over here to this end of things. Yeah, see, there's something big down there. Without a doubt. Yeah, I am getting a lot of lag. I don't know what the deal is up with that. Well, let me go ahead and start fishing here. It seems to be better now that I'm not driving the boat. But let's go ahead and see here what we've what we got to work with. Yeah, and I don't think we can set a rod pod out here, can we? I don't think so. No. That's the only bad thing. I wish the boats had rod holders. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong rod. Never mind, guys. Hold on. Let's try our float rod here. Let's see if that doesn't attract something. Yeah, if it doesn't, I might even put uh, some live bait on there as well, just to sweeten the load, so to speak. Mm, there we go. Smaller hook, guys. Well, at least it tells you. It looks like all the big fish left. Damn it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Let's get back to the boat here. There were big fish here. I don't know what the heck happened to them. Let's head over to this side of the lake and see if there's anything in particular on this side of things. wonder. Can you moor the boat and get off the boat? No. Damn. Well, I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I think if you exit the boat, you're just going to end up back at the dock. Okay, they look like some pretty impressive fish out here. Let's see what we got. Nothing that way. Okay, they're over here. Alright, see if that hook's too big over here. Oh, there we go, guys. Check him out. That is a flathead. Oh, yeah. That, my friends, is a flathead. I found him. Yep, yep.
I was wondering if they might be away from the dock. I was a thinking there's pretty much just channels there. He's not a monster by any means. But he's my first flathead. A six odd hook. And as little as he is compared to those channels. Oh shoot. He's decided he's going to fight after all. They do that from time to time. They, it's like they realize they get caught and they're like, uh, nope, I'm not coming. Alright, let's see. 11.90 pounds. Love how modeled they look. 11.90 pounds. That's not really too bad. But I'll tell you what. Let's go back to the inventory. Now what size hook can this go to? Six odds. So I've already got it to be as big as it goes. Okay, this one goes six, seven, and eight. So let's equip that. And we'll equip We've got the 8 equipped. Okay, we need to add more bait to it, though. Let's add... We're out of dragonflies. Which we are going to buy and equip. And just to make it a little more enticing, we're going to equip... Well, nope, I can't equip him. Hmm. Well, so far we've caught him with these. Okay, let's throw this one over there because that looks a little bit like a possibility right there. It may take a minute for them to get interested, but if it's too big, we'll go down to a seven. Alright guys, I have not gotten the bite for a while. I think we're going to go ahead and move here again. I think we actually we might just go ahead and go back to the dock. So we got a, at least one flathead and we saw a couple of more. Might be some over here too. I don't know. Let me... Let me go ahead and set the rod pot out again. We're going to try that one more time. I'm really surprised we didn't get any bites off of that, honestly. Let's see here. We got this one. What size hook? We got 5 aught. Alright, let's size it down just a little bit. Well, no. 5 aught's pretty good, honestly. Tell you what, let's just... let's. Mix up the bait a little bit. That might help a little. Let's put a dragonfly on there. See if we can't find something. Swimming around. There's a lot swimming directly underneath me. Let's try the other rod here. What size hook do I have on there? Five. Uh, that seems like that would be a good size to me. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our inventory here 
and we're going to equip a smaller rod if we can find one here. Yeah, just a little bitty one. And then we're going to put some fine line on there. We're going to see if we can't get a pumpkin seed or so. All right, guys, I finished loading this up, and I'm going to put marshmallows on there because it looks like bluegill, black crappie, white crappie, and pumpkin seed all go for this. So it's worth a try, and I've got a little bitty hook on here, a two, number two, not even an ought, anything. But we're going to go ahead. I think you can only probably get one marshmallow on there, but that's probably all we need. We've got those set, and we're going to look around see if we can't find what looks like might be pumpkin seeds or crappie. That looks a little big. Well, let's just toss it in there and see. Wait a minute, that's the wrong rod. Need number five. There we go. I think, can't really tell down there. Let me take a look. Now, if we could find a spot that has a whole bunch of them, that'd be even better. Okay, that looks like a striped bass. I don't know. Oh, looks like we've got something on our bottom rods. Awesome. And it is this one. Oh, wow. He is, he's, he's going for it, guys. Alrighty. Let's see what this guy's gonna be. It's some kind of catfish. Yep, another channel. 10.55 pounds. We'll sell him. We are doing some pretty darn good with these catfish, guys throw it out a little ways this time see if there's something further or closer to that all right I think I'm gonna use that again yeah there's a lot of little fish over there I think I'm gonna try that so they like marshmallows that's what I caught the pumpkin seed on the last time. I think I've got an interested party, but I'm not sure here. He's sort of sitting there right above me. Here he comes. Yeah, he's interested. Boom. Bluegill. I was wondering. Starting to think that they just weren't going to bite on them. There we go. A little bluegill. I don't think these, they had the bluegill here last time. I think they're new too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I might have that a little too deep. Let me sit there. Look at this. Let's put it right at one meter. Or as close to it as we can. It's a nice round number. These marshmallows, they really, really work well for the small fish. I, 
Betty Lake, they were great. I think that's a crappie over there, if I'm not mistaken. Probably a black crappie. I was hoping I'd get his attention, but it's not looking like it's happening. Well, so far I have not gotten any bites for a while here, so I may have to do something to, to alter that. Let me see. So, they're not going for that at the moment. I don't know if it's... Is the hook too small? I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and equip this one. Size it down to about a one ot. Let's see if we can bait it with something else. Now... Looks like yeah, I want something that the black on well, the black crappie go for it. Pumpkin seed. What about cheese? Well, let me look over here and I'll try to figure out. Wait a minute. Let's put corn on that then. Let's see, dough bowl, that sounds like one that a pumpkin seed would go for. It's not listed. Hmm. How about bread? Pumpkin seed, black crappie, and white crappie. Ah, you can't equip it. Doggone it. I like the bundle up on the damn baits. Well, let's see what that does, guys. If anything. Usually corn's pretty popular with all fish, but here we go, guys. He looks like he's interested. I think it's a pumpkin seed, guys. Yeah, it looks like one. Boom, there we go. Yeah, it's a pumpkin seed. Awesome. He might be the biggest one I've caught. Let's see how big he is. No, no, I'm not the biggest, but decent. One more time, guys. That's what I always say. One more time. The bait. Let's see, the semolinas. No. Eh, let's try the small cut bait. Sis, pumpkin seed. And white crappie both go for it. I don't know. I think they're pretty much whatever they can find. Give it a little time here. There we go. Another pumpkin seed, guys. Alright, they're definitely into those. Boom. Got him. Come on, little fella. Ooh, new 
record. It's 0 0.70 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, they're fun to catch, guys. Anyway, guys, I well, we got a good look at some of the new species. We didn't find any of the crappie yet, but we will find them. I think in the next episode, though, however, we might be going to a different lake. And if we still can't find them in that lake, then we'll come back and do our darndest to catch them. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will... See you later. Bye-bye.